1. Connect the three long brackets using M2 asterisk 4 countersunk screws. 2. Remove the platform plate and unscrew the hand-tightened nuts beneath the heated bed. Keep these parts for later use. 3. Take out the heated bed and set the springs aside for later use. 4. Disconnect the Y-axis motor and limit switch wires. 5. Loosen the belt tensioner and remove both ends of the timing belt. 6. Unscrew the screws securing the Y-axis support plate and keep them for later use, skip this step for newer machines. 7. Remove the screws from the belt tensioner, then remove the belt tensioner and the timing belt. Keep these parts for later use. 8. Remove the screws securing the bottom plate and keep them for later use. 9. Carefully remove the bottom plate, taking care of the fan wires connected to the motherboard. Disconnect the fan wires. 10. Remove the screws securing the motherboard and cables. Avoid unplugging other wires on the motherboard. 11. Unscrew the screws securing the Y-axis profile. 12. Place the long bracket between the Y-axis profile and the machine casing, then secure it. This step may be challenging, so assistance from another person is recommended. 
13. Reattach the motherboard to the machine. Fourteen. Reconnect the fan wires from the bottom plate to the motherboard. Fifteen. Reinstall the bottom plate, ensuring no cables are pinched. Sixteen. Remove the entire Y-axis wheel assembly from the Y-axis profile. For newer machines, detach all four wheels from the Y-axis support plate. 17. Optional, use masking tape to mark the positions of the threaded holes on the long bracket. 18. Use M3 asterisk 6 screws to secure the linear rails onto the long beam. For better alignment, you can 3D minus print two installation jigs to ensure the two linear rails remain parallel. The model is available for download at www.thingiverse.com. Nineteen. Place the aluminum pillar on the slider. Then position the small bracket on the aluminum pillar. Secure them with M3 asterisk 12 countersunk screws. Slide the slider to check if it moves smoothly and triggers the Y-axis limit switch. 20. Place the round silicone washers above the threaded holes of the support plate. 21. For older machines, use 4M5 asterisk 10 screws to secure the Y-axis support plate to the small bracket. For newer machines, use 2M4 asterisk 10 screws in the threaded holes and 2M5 asterisk 10 screws to secure the Y-axis support plate to the small bracket. Ensure the Y-axis support plate is oriented correctly. The smallest corner of the slider plate faces the motor. Insert the screws into the two small holes on the slider plate first. Then install the remaining screws. 22. Thread the timing belt through the profile and around the motor pulley. Reinstall the belt tensioner onto the Y-axis profile. 23. Secure both ends of the timing belt to the slider plate and adjust the belt tension to an appropriate level. 
24. Reconnect the motor and limit switch wires. Twenty-five. Reinstall the heated bed onto the slider plate, ensuring the heated bed wires are not twisted. Twenty-six. Install the springs and hand-tightened nuts. 27. Place the platform plate back onto the heated bed.